Dirty pop. Yo. Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another edition of Pop, Lock, and Drop, Drop it. it. I am your host, JD. My, my name is Jaden. And today, we got a special Pop, Lock, and Drop It for you guys, but we're not going to tell you what it is until we unveil it, right? Uh -huh. All right. So, for those of you that are actually watching for the very first time, welcome. We do appreciate you taking the time out to watch our videos. So this is a portion of the J&J Toy Giants YouTube channel where we go over all Funko Pops and Funko merch, all of it, but mostly Funko Pops. And today we got a fun-filled show for you today. And uh, Jaden, where did you just come from? I came from Orlando, Florida, Disney World. So he went to Disney World for his birthday. At the time of this recording, it was just past his birthday, so happy birthday. 11 years old this this little guy is and uh, man i remember when i was 11 years old that was 1992 that was a long time ago and i'm 42 now i'm gonna be 43 this year but all right so today he used some of his birthday money so he got a couple of pops at gamestop and also at walmart so why don't you why don't you go ahead and start us off so the first one i uh, got today was this for Disney 100 and Mickey Mouse Club. So this Mickey Mouse Club, part of the Disney 100 series, is one of the actual um, special edition of the Funko Pops. So Mickey, Mickey Mouse Club, as you can tell, he always had this for about a while. I forget when the actual Mickey Mouse Club just started, but as you can see on the side here, you know, particular for the glare, we apologize. That's what he looks like on inside the box, right here. And you can also see the little holographic, like, you know, prism here that says Disney 100 on the back. What made you want to pick this up? Uh, so I was going to originally pick up a uh, Ghostbusters one for the new uh, Frozen Empire. Yeah, he had the race stands and then one of the, the ghosts and from the Frozen Empire, but then he decided to put that down. Because, uh, when I saw Mickey, I just realized I had no Disney Funko Pops in my collection. I was like, why don't I try something new? Yeah, and of course, he just came back from Disney World, so it makes sense that he wants to get some Disney Pops in his collection. I actually don't have any Disney characters per se, but I do have some Funko Pops that are Disney properties. So I do have some Marvel, um, Marvel Funko Pops. Uh, let me see here. Just checking a look at what I got so far. So I got a lot of Star Wars Pops. So those are under Disney. But uh, yeah, I mean, pretty much that's, you know, under the Disney. So I guess I have Disney Pops. Let me see here. Uh, well, Deadpool's part of the Marvel Universe now. So he's Disney. I got a Wolverine. I got Spider-Man. I have. That's it. <laughs> Mostly, it's uh, a lot of the older '80s franchises. You know, GI Joe, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, things of that nature. He-Man. Um, where did you get this again? I'm sorry. GameStop. Got it at GameStop. And of course, while he's getting the second Funko Pop that he's going to show you, want to tell you guys if you guys are watching for the very first time, please like and subscribe hit that notification bell while he's getting the second one so when i was in florida i went to a coca-cola building where it's all coca-cola and while i was there i got a coca-cola polar bear from one of the old commercials yeah so i know it started in the 90s i didn't remember when what year in the 90s but um coca-cola Basically, this is kind of like their mascot now. Uh, every year during Christmas, they will show some Coca-Cola commercials that have this bear, this polar bear, with all of his family. And as you can see on the back here, shows the Coca-Cola with the bear. Also, they had another one, which is Santa with a Coca-Cola. Because know. Santa Claus knows the power of advertisement 
And he's always Coca-Cola. Maybe the Easter Bunny's Pepsi. We don't know. <laughs> what, what else do you like about this, though? What I like about this is they decided to take like old commercials. So like how they take now there are variants to these I believe there's one where he actually is holding a coca-cola bottle and I think there is one that's an actual coca-cola bottle of the actual uh, under the coca-cola this is under the ad icons is what they call it there's other ones like him with shades on and holding a coca-cola yeah Santa is thrown and then a tail one just the bottle and the cap of a bottle opener. But if you go onto the Funko app, you can actually check out some of the other Coca-Cola Funkos that I use disposal. What I like to use about the Funko app is I always take a screenshot of the, the Funko barcode. That way it'll keep my collection in, in order so I know what I have and what I don't have. So it's nice and what they do like that is because I had a Coca-Cola bottle and I don't have any food items only the mac and cheese I think if I had to choose which one I probably would want out of the ad icons it would probably be the fruity pebbles one that one or uh, what other one do they have the ad icons um oh the Kraft macaroni and cheese one I'd probably I probably get that one I have that one and I don't have the box but I want to see a battle of uh, the polar bear and the Pepsi commercial guy. I think it's like... Uh, I think back in the 80s they had a mascot of uh, for Pepsi. It was, it was uh, Max man. Max Headroom is what the name yeah. of it. And did you know uh, Pepsi was, uh, was working with World War II? It's actually a fun fact. No, oh, no, I didn't know that. Um, but in World War II, they, uh, uh, to get more popularity, because Coke was booming the success. So they said, we'll make a deal, we'll give you a whole entire load of Pepsi. And then after World War II, everybody realized, well, now we should get Pepsi. That's when Pepsi and Coke went at war. Sun filled facts. You never stop learning here with J&J Toy Giants. What are the other ones you have? Uh, my other one, I got this a long, long time ago. It is the Devil Bat from Season 4. Yeah, so Stranger Things is currently, I believe they are currently still filming. Um, but yeah, so last we left off with State Stranger Things, you know that they had uh, some uh, fights in Vecna's world in the Upside Down, and they were fighting some of the Demobats, unfortunately, uh, poor um, uh, Eddie didn't fare too well against the Demobats, unfortunately. Uh, but Eddie still is in our minds and prayers. We hope he can come back uh, for the next season of Stranger Things. He will keep saying that he'll come back as a vampire. I really hope he does, and I want him on our side. if you get bit by a vampire uh, bat, People always say in movies. Yeah, but that's a demo bat. That's not a vampire bat. So. Yeah, so a demo bat still makes you a bat. He may be under the control of that thing. You never know. And at the end, uh, when everybody was back at the house, like Mueller's house, everybody saw it. It was like snowing. The little girl said, Look, it's snowing. And, it, and they were like, It's not snow. And people say, like, the Dungeons of Dragons. It's going to be a battle. A battle. Yeah, well, they knew that the Upside Down now was invading the real world. So now so that's where they left it off. So it was a cliffhanger. People think because there was a teaser trailer showing Eddie was alive. And he was a vampire in the, the dungeon of dragon coming out of the, uh, the ground. And then they had a battle. So now here comes the fun filled part of the show that we said we had a surprise for you that it was a special edition of Pop Lock and Drop It. We're going to play a game of What's in the Box? Uh, what's in the box? box? Yes, we haven't done this ever. And I told my friends, go watch Nostalgic Toy Plus, Black Knight, and also CB Hunts on YouTube. 
Check them out. They do a lot of these particular videos and I wanted to do one of these myself. What's in the box? So today, I actually bought a bunch of Funko Pops a long time ago and I kind of forgot what I got because I never took them out of the box. So today, I'm gonna to be reacting to some of the Funko Pops that I used my gift cards for back in Christmas when they had all the sales going on on, on Amazon. And also, Jaden is gonna unbox one of my uh, Funkos that I got as well because that's what happens when you go on a spending spree, uh, you know, spending, uh, what do they call it? A spending spree, there we go. And you don't remember what exactly did you bought. And we might show two Funko Pops I got my dad just for a special yeah, so we're going to save that on the next video, but uh, okay, why don't you go ahead and I'll let Jaden go first and then I'll finish out the, uh, the, the video. Okay, I'm going to put this one. I think this one. Okay, so what's in the Funko box? Uh, I don't know what's in the Funko box. Ooh. Oh, show them, show them. You got it is. Strange from the bulk. Oh, the Multiverse of Madness. Dr. Strange. Dr. Strange, Multiverse of Madness is in the Funko Pop uh, 1000. And of course, you can see this is what Dr. Strange looks like on the side. From the box, you can get, see here, you can get Wong, America Chavez, Rintra, the Scarlet Witch, Supreme Strange, Master Mordo, and also Sara uh, in this collection here you can see on the side here or on the back there sorry about the glare i actually remember watching this movie i believe it was right after wandavision and i was so amazed by how great this movie was and i was so excited and i actually you know jumped at the chance to get this i remember now buying this uh on sale on amazon so go ahead and go put that back in the box there now it's my turn and okay, what I'm wondering what this is, huh? Oh. Uh, maybe it has to be a Oh, it is Padme Amidala Amazon exclusive from Star Wars, uh, Star Wars number 525. And this is part of the Power of the Galaxy series that they were doing for Star Wars. So of course, uh, Padme Amidala, as you can Remember, if you guys follow Star Wars, is Anakin Skywalker's wife, mother of Leia, and also Luke Skywalker. Um, so, of course, you can see her on the side there. Um, I think I just got her on a whim. And, of course, this is under Disney. You can see the Disney logo right over here. Um, so, I got her just because I don't think I had a Padme Amidala. I think I got a Princess Leia, but I don't have a pa Padme Amidala. I'm missing Anakin Skywalker. I really want the A A Anakin Skywalker with the bloodshot eyes or the blood, no, the yellow eyes where he is totally turned into Darth Vader before he actually gets the uh, the actual suit. I feel like it was a tragic note for Padme because then Anakin killed her, Luke and Luke Skywalker and... Yeah, Luke and Leia never got to know their mother. No, so they're not... Sad, no. Oh, by the way, spoiler alert. All right. So, rounding off the What's in the Box edition of the Funko Pops and uh, Pop, Lock, and Drop It. What's this in here? What do you think it's in here? Uh, I feel is like it going to be a Marvel one? Is it going to be a movie one? I is feel it... like it has to be... Movie one, okay. Oh, you were almost right. Part of the DCEU before it got uh, retro-conned. Peacemaker, starring John Cena. So this is Peacemaker with his helmet in his uh, tidy whities If you remember watching this series, Peacemaker, on Max. At that point in time, it was HBO Max, but now it's called Max. Uh, this, I believe this was the second episode where he has to flee an apartment building and without getting caught by the uh, police so here on this one you can get a peacemaker with his uh full costume with eagerly you can get vigilante judo master and then eagerly all by himself you can see those on the side there on the back actually of uh, what you can get I, I 
definitely, I love this show, so definitely I, I jumped at the chance to get this. So this is the Funko Pop Television 1233, right here. Of course, if you haven't watched Peacemaker, I definitely suggest that you would uh, watch it because it's a very funny, um, you know, series. It's not meant for children, so I'm, I'm giving you a warning there, not made for children, for adults only, because there's some naughty words and naughty content there. Um, but yeah, uh, but yeah, so that is the Peacemaker. That is going to round out. Do we have any other ones? Um, no, that's it? Okay. So that's going to round out our What's in the Box edition of Funko Pop Lock and Drop Maybe It. Maybe we could show one pop that I got. No, no, no. We're going to wait for the next one because we've already uh, had enough of these already. Uh, but thank you so very much for joining us again on another Pop Lock and Drop It. Again, I am your host, J.D. My name's Jaden. And be sure to like and subscribe and also comment on any of our video submissions on YouTube, Patreon, X, Instagram, and Facebook. And follow us on TikTok and Twitch. You want to say goodbye to the fans? What do you want to say before we say goodbye? So before I'll give you one sneak peek of one of the pops, it will be for the office. All right. Thank you so very much, guys. Be sure to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. Keep on cruising. We will see you later.